Happy Wednesday. My name is Phil Osophical, and whether you call it a band or a clan or a group or a troop, whatever the heck you call it, we all need one. And uh, a lot of people call it community. And so this video is about building community and how we really do need each other to help each other out in whatever spiritual path or whatever uh, dreams or visions we want to bring out. It's really hard to do it if you try to do it all by yourself. And uh, there's a great quote from a famous Buddhist master named Thich Nhat Hanh. Um, it says, the Buddha of the 21st century is the Sangha, which is the community. So it's like we really all need each other in order to keep ourselves in this new way of living in this new paradigm that we're shifting into. And so I've got this really cool book here called We Need Each Other by Bill Kouth and Zoe Alawan. I did an amazing uh, retreat with these folks a few weeks ago in Ashland, Oregon. And I've been reading some of their book and it's just got all these incredible quotes and practices on how we can actually build community. And I just feel it's so important that we each connect with our tribe or our clan or our band or our group or our troop at a local level and have regular gatherings because after all we evolved for 99 percent of human history as tribes we're tribal creatures we're used to um, being around lots of people and touching a lot of people so many people including myself for a lot of our lives, like you go all day long without even touching someone. Maybe you sit on the bus next to someone. That's like the most human interaction you have. And it's like we're not, we're evolutionarily not used to that. It feels like something's wrong. And I mean, there's many other things in our culture that we've become so individualistic and isolated. I'm here in LA right now. A lot of people spend half their day in their car you know, you're in this crazy box that just flies through the streets and on a very evolutionary, on an evolutionary level, we've like never had this sort of situation. So we have this extreme isolation in dominant society nowadays and we really do need each other. So I'm going to post the link to this book. I highly encourage checking out their work. Um, it's also tied in with all the work of Charles Eisenstein, which I highly recommend. Um, but I just feel it's so important that we connect with our tribe. And I've been traveling around the last couple months, and I just feel so grateful for all the people who are constantly helping me out. And I couldn't do it without them. You know, if I was staying in a hotel every night, I would just, it would cost way more money. I would feel lonely. I would just not be connected, but instead I'm couch surfing and meeting all these new people who are I'm sharing meals with and trading massage and all kinds of things, and it just feels so much better. And it makes sense because for 99% of human history, we've been living as tribal creatures, though it's only in the past like 50 years when capitalism has reached its, ex its extreme where everyone need we're trying to make extreme amounts of profit so it's like everyone needs their own car everyone needs their own blender everyone needs their own pencil sharpener everyone needs their own scissors you know you got to buy everything on your own you can't share anything you know cuz it's all it's all about the individual you got to make it it's a cold world out there um, but that's just a silly story that we're playing in our heads culturally and we can uh, so many people are making this shift back towards tribalism and towards building community. And there's so many exciting ways we can do that. I encourage you to start a gift circle in your community. I'm about to post a full video that just explains in detail the gift circle. There's a zillion other things you can do. This book really has a lot of great ideas and practices. So I encourage you to connect with your tribe or your group or your troop, or your band, or your clan, and have a marvelous day. Peace.